Hey, what's up everyone? Uh, welcome back to World War II Solitaire board game channel. Today we're gonna play another Solitaire game of Atlantic Storm Admirals Edition released by and published by Lock and Load Publishing. So uh, first off, I want to give a shout out and a big thank you to Sean Dumas. Thank you very much for becoming uh, the newest member, the supporting member of my channel. And also thank you very much for your generous uh, donation. You guys can also become a member of the channel uh, for only $2.99 US dollars a month. You can help me to uh, keep um, backing new games on Kickstarter, buying new equipment and so on to keep the channel going. Last year I spent about $2,000 on new games. I backed every solitaire World War II game on Kickstarter. I pre-ordered every new game and <clears throat> I also spent about $500 on new camera equipment. Anyway, enough about that. Uh, so. If you haven't watched my first Atlantic Storm video, I recommend you to do so because in that video I go into greater detail about the rules for the solitaire mode. In this video I'm just gonna go ahead and play. The last video I played as uh, the allies and this time I'm gonna play as the axis. So the first thing we are gonna do is draw eight cards from our four stick. And <clears throat> we're going to have to discard two of them. Okay. So I don't, I don't usually like these cards that are only 943. I also try to get rid of um, Arctic only cards. So these two, I mean, they're not bad cards, but they're only 943. And... I don't like to, when I only have six, uh, a hand size of six, that's not a good situation. So, um, my first goal is going to be to try to get a hand size, you know, of seven and then go up all the way to nine. So, let's see what the first convoy is going to be. And let me just check that the camera is okay. Yep, you can see everything going on. Oh, so the first convoy is a 942 convoy. It's a full uh, convoy meaning uh, it's full yellow here i'm gonna get an increased hand size if i can capture this vp5 let's see what uh, the allies does okay the allies play a uh, air uh, airplane uh, card let's see if we have anything to counter not really so this is gonna be a tough nut to crack it's 942 Let's see, so the card is knight under 42 and it is the Atlantic Ocean. So I could perhaps play two, one bonus card and one event card. So first we have the Axis Minefield. Play alone or with another card of any type and it's 42 and it's both oceans. I can play that with the event card, uh, Shadower, play alone or with another card of any type, immediately fill your hand to 9 cards and continue your turn as Axis. So, um, so we're gonna go ahead and uh, fill our hand to 9 cards. Let's see, we have 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Oh, we did get to one <laughs> with an aircraft value. Okay, so next card of the allies, and we have a French ship, uh, Aconit Corvette. However, it's although it's the right year, right ocean, it doesn't have a aircraft value, so that is going to be discarded. So of course we're going to go ahead and play our only card, which is uh, has an aircraft value, which is Admiral Hipper, and. Um, it has a 1 in aircraft value, it's the right year and right ocean. Alright, um, so you have to also take note that these guys they have a yellow name, so they are fated by Lida, fated by camship. So even if the allies would draw a ship that wouldn't be the correct battle suit, if they fate one of my cards or the convoy, they're still gonna play it. Alright. So let's see what they bring. Escort Group C1. And again, we're quite lucky because this is not the correct suit. So the allies are not going to play that card. They're going to go ahead and discard it instead. And that means my uh, total co combat value is 3. 
and the allies is only one sorry two so i win uh, and i win th this card and i win the convoy which increases my hand size by one from six to seven okay and these go in the discard pile so let's see i have to go uh, to seven now so that means i have to discard one of these cards <clears throat> and i'm gonna go ahead and discard uh, let's see yeah i'll, I'll discard this uh Sestore. it's this one is night number 43 the Raubgraf, but the Sestore is uh 42 and 43 although it's only the atlant uh, sorry the arctic and that's quite a rare uh, setting so this is what i'm gonna go with one two three four five six seven and let's look at the next convoy so the next convoy is on127 outbound north to new york city it doesn't increase the hand size so this is not going to be an important convoy for me we have another aircraft um, attack here by the allies a mosquito long range fighter uh, and um, i have nothing that i can um, Nothing that I can fight with. So the question now is, do I want to discard one card or do I want to discard all of them? I'm going to go ahead and discard my 943 card. <clears throat> and my allies play the next. Or actually, <laughs> this one isn't a valid uh, card because it's 943. This is 942. So this would actually be the allies card. It's the right ocean, it's the right year. Uh, however, I skipped my first turn, so I'm gonna have to uh, live with that. I have a second turn now, so I could um, go ahead and engage, and that is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go and play uh, Breslau. And hope for the best, so the allies. Okay, so the allies play Lida. And so the way this works now for the al uh, allies to decide if they want to commit this card or not this is going to be counted as a three uh, the question mark for the allies that would be a four but since that is a three and the allies already have a two this is a one that is together a three and that means it's a tie and that means the allies are going to go ahead and commit uh, commit that card so actually this is going to be quite exciting because to figure out who wins we have to roll a die if i roll a four or higher i win if i roll a three it's a tie a one or a two i lose oh i win a roll a four perfect well that was <laughs> very lucky i gotta say so uh, again i win the suit so this is discarded and i do win the two allies cards and another convoy i like to put the convoys on top so i can um keep track of um my hand size Okay, and my current hand size is 7, so that's correct. All right. Uh, let's look at the next convoy. 1940 convoy, that is usually pretty hard. I only have one 1940 card, a sub card. So let's see what the allies have to bring to this fight. A 1943 card, that is illegal play. <clears throat> Duke of York, that's another illegal play. They have nine chances. On the first uh, draw there we go so they play the harvester uh, a destroyer and of course we're gonna go ahead and play our sub card the u38 Liebe uh, and we'll draw a new card and then the axis will play and although it's oof, it's a free, uh, also a Highlander destroyer, so it has a free and sub value. It's the right year and it's the right uh, right ocean. So I believe, unfortunately, that is gonna that is gonna destroy me. Okay, so what I want to do here, I I am gonna go ahead and discard this card and draw a new one. There we go, and the last allies card. It's the wrong suit, so that is discarded. Uh, the allies have a total sub value of six i have a free so i lose all right so they win the convoy so that is the first victory they get my u38 they sink that and they get uh, the sc7 convoy also uh, note that harvester is i i you sometimes forget to look at this the harvester is fated by the u43 
three four uh, four three two, but I didn't have that one. And the combo itself is faded by U99, but I didn't have that one either. Okay, so let's see. Can you see these piles? Let's move them a little bit so you can kind of figure out what what the piles, the victory piles, look like. All right. <clears throat> So these are discarded and we draw a new convoy. ON67. Uh, 1942 convoy. And the Allies is gonna go for a subsuit again. It's the correct year, the correct ocean. And a subsuit is the Germans' favorite, so that is alright by me. Let's see. Uh, we have plenty of good subcars here. I am gonna go ahead and go with see is, is, uh, none of them are fated uh, okay I'm gonna go ahead and go with the latest one so I'll go with a uh, Welchen wolf pack which is a question mark that could be a, a fatal play it could be a one or something uh, metric radar is to correct year and all of that and today uh, card they would play uh, the Skylla, but it's going to be discarded since it's not the correct suit of battle. So, let's see what we want to play. I am going to go ahead and go with the U567 Endras Type 7 uh, U-Boat, uh, which has a 3 in combat value. So I now have a 3 plus a question mark. Oof. And they play the Hedgehog. Uh, let's see. It's a bonus card. So, okay, I'm quite lucky here. This is not a sub card. So this is discarded. So the allies are going to go ahead and see if they want to commit this card or not. They have a total of four, six together with this card. I have a three plus a question mark, which will be seen as a three by the allies. So it's a six. Versus six, so again we have a tie in the minds of the allies, so this card is going to be committed. And also I have forgotten to draw. There we go. Okay, so we are going to go ahead and roll. And we have the same deal now with our uh, die. If we roll a four or a five or six, we win. A uh, three, it's a tie. A one or a two, we lose. Oh, crap. And that is the dangerous part about playing these question mark cards. Could be really powerful, could be really bad. This time it was bad. I have a total value of 4. They have a total value of 6. So the allies win. These cards are discarded. And these cards are won by the allies. They sink the U567 and the Vilchen. Let me clean up a little bit here. Okay, so I have my, let's see, seven cards on my hand. We play a new convoy. HG76, fated by Blanky. And the allies are gonna go for another submarine suit. Uh, however, it's wrong year. It has to be 941. Here we go. Ooh, look at that. It's gonna be a surface uh, suit this time with a value of six. I do not think I can beat that. I could go with Admiral Dönitz to change the suit of battle to combined, but I'm not quite sure that that is actually going to help me. Uh, let's see what this does. U461, you may play two subforce cards instead of one with this event. Nickname Milk Cows because of their role type something you tankers supplied other U-boats at sea but had no offensive weapons. So I could play this one later on uh, with two sub cards. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and play Admiral Dönitz. Play alone or with another card. You may chain suit of battle um, to combine or you may play one extra force card of the same or different type as the first force card. I'm gonna play, <coughs> excuse me, that card together with, let's see, Knight Under 41. Actually, these are quite good cards, so I, I don't really want to waste them, but I kind of have to. 
Uh, I am going to play that with the U110 and I am going to play uh, to change the suit to, um, to combined. And allies. Play the Fido and it's the incorrect year. So that is discarded and they, they lose their turn. And then I'm... <clears throat> I should draw also draw two new cards and then I play uh, U461 because like I said it lets me play two sub cards instead of one uh, I did get a good card here however but I think maybe perhaps let's see that is a total value of seven and these two are a value of four six oh actually so I'm, I'm gonna play this one instead Ignace now. Uh, all right, let me draw one more card then, and let's see what the allies have to bring. The Avenger, which is a 943 uh, to 42 card, so it's a legal play, a illegal play, and that means I have won the suit because it was turned to combined. I have a total value of uh, seven, eight, nine, ten. And they have a total value of 7. So, 4 VP for this car. That is a good uh, good VP. And I get uh, a conv convoy with uh, 3 VP and half half filled convoy. And these are discarded. Okay, and I have my... I have to check I have my 7 cards. Yes, I do. Next convoy. SL125 Sierra Leone to Liverpool. Uh, 1942 fated by Schaitax. Uh, for VP and we have another air combat oh I don't like that I don't have much I can bring uh, to the table I'm gonna go ahead and discard uh, U91 draw a new card and look at that I got straight tax uh, which is uh, this combo is fated by it but it doesn't have an uh, air value so it's wasted for me, unfortunately. Uh, this one is discarded. It's the wrong years. It's an illegal play. But yeah, I don't. I basically, I don't have much. I mean, I could play the channel dash. Is the correct year together with um, Schnauhorst, but that really would feel like a waste. Uh... I do need this car though, uh, because that would increase my hand size to one. Okay, I'm gonna do it. Uh, so I play the event card, play alone or with another surface card. Uh, if the Axis win this round, you may pick up one surface card that survived the battle and add it to your hand. Okay, and then we play um, the Schnauhorst, which is another surface card. Uh, and we draw, let's see, two more cards it's the allies and we hope it's not an air card it's not perfect it's not an air card so that is discarded and that means total value for the allies is free the total air value for me is also free so it's a tie so we take these cards and put them under the convoy and we go for an extra round of battle and the allies change the suit to sub. And you all know that I like that sub. So it's still 42. Uh, Atlantic Ocean. I'm going to go ahead and play Reliable Torpedoes. Play alone or with another sub card. Uh, and uh, then we play it with U32 Genish. So um, a combina combined value of 5. And we draw... Two new cards. Let's see. We have seven cards on our hand. And the allies. Ooh. Arava, which is um, a good card. A free in uh, sub value. Okay, we have to counter that. Uh, let's see. Do we have any good? Okay, we have this super card. The U46. Uh, you may play two sub force cards instead of one. So we can play two sub force cards we are gonna go ahead and play u435 surlo uh, and let's see mark Roth. 
let's see they're both are the correct year and correct uh, ocean let's see we have need seven okay so that i think we have a good chance of winning this oh no escort group 36 we don't need that let's see i have five uh five ten okay so they are not gonna commit oh yes they are because they have four eight eleven so they are gonna commit this card to battle oh a lot a lot hangs on this battle um because that's a lot of vp combined so let's see let's start by rolling um we're gonna roll all together they have let's see they have a total of two question marks i have one so the, al uh, the uh, allies are gonna have the white and the axis the makarov is gonna have the blue one ah no oh man that was painful okay so let's look at this five eight ten right no yeah five eight ten five seven eight oh no <laughs> oh i lost okay so i lost horribly 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 because that means the british uh, ships are discarded and they have won all of these cards so two three four eight ten eleven plus the convoy that is 15 vp won by the allies wow okay so i really have to start getting aggressive now otherwise i am not gonna be able to win this uh, that was that that came down to the die roll so i still think i played it correctly uh, hx84 halifax to liverpool uh, another night under 40 convoys i like those because usually uh, usually the the enemy doesn't have uh, legal place for that so that is illegal illegal it's the wrong year there we go we have a legal play uh, it's gonna be a sub value and we also happen to have a sub card for that year although we only have one so ah uh, okay this is gonna be tough my friends legal card we don't have one to play look at this we have a pretty bad hand now we have no 940 card so i'm gonna go ahead this suit is lost of course i'm gonna go ahead and discard all of them and draw one two three four five six seven new cards Oh, where were you guys? I needed this U110 and U99. Okay, uh, that is unfortunate, of course. Uh, and that is again the wrong uh, year, so it's an illegal play. So we have a value 3 versus a value of 2. So the allies win again. Another convoy. So things are going downhill for me. SC94, Knight Under 42 convoy. We can see that it's fated by escort group C1. And enemy play Hudson, patrol bomber. It's correct, correct year, correct ocean. And it's going to be a sub suit. I can deal with that. Ooh, let's see what we're going to go ahead and play. We're going to go ahead and play U103. Let's see, we have a strange event card. They played uh, this by itself during your regular turn. Draw one card now, but make your play last in the round after everyone else. Okay, that is a pretty good card. So maybe I should play that first then. So I play that now and then I will actually have a, a third turn. So that makes sense. Okay, the uh, allies continue. It's a wrong suit of combat. So that is an illegal play. And I am going to go ahead and play, let's see here, these are pretty good cards actually, it's a shame I have to waste them. 
I am gonna go ahead and discard this card. Draw a new card. And the allies go again. Oh, crap. Okay. So now they have a value 4. And because of this card, I will be allowed to play another card. And the only option I have now is to play the U99. Um, because that is uh, combat value 4 is going to turn it into a tie. Let's see. And this one is fated by Breslau, but I don't have... Breslau, unfortunately. Do I have a bonus card I can play with that to win? Nope, I have no bonus cards, unfortunately. So that means it's a tie. We have four versus four. So we're gonna have to do another battle. And it's another sub suit. Okay, I can uh, roll with that. And I am gonna go ahead and play. U-103. Uh, U-143, so that is an illegal card. Oh yeah, I forgot to draw. Ooh, that's a pretty cool card, but it's a U-143 card. And it's the Atlantic. Okay, I'm gonna play it safe this time, I guess. Yeah, otherwise uh, it's probably going to be disastrous. So I'll play U-103. And of course the allies come with one of these cards. Oh, And they are going to commit it. I have six, they have two, and that's counted as a four. So they have also six. So it's a tie again in the mind of the allies. So we're going to go ahead and roll to see. And we hope, dear God, that is not... A five or a six. Oh, okay. Thank you. I, I was sure it was going to be like a six. So the total combat value of the allies is two plus one. So that is a combat value of three. I have a combat value of six. So I managed to win this combat, which also means that I get the spoils from the previous combat. So I get these two cards and this one. But... It's not so much, it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 VP, plus 3, so that's 8 VP, and the, the allies got like, what, 15 or something the last time they won? Anyway, <clears throat> you can see that we have two half convoys now, so we have a hand size now instead of 6, of 8. So let's see, 3, 6, 7, 8, so we get to draw one additional card that is really powerful for us. Okay, let's clean up here a little bit, so you can see what's going on. Next convoy, it's a 942 convoy, and that's exactly what we need, a full convoy. We can, if we can get this, we can maximize our hand size to 9. 942, and it's gonna be a, a surface battle, and I can roll with that, because I have the Bishmark. And they have a bonus card, which is actually a flight suit. So we're going to go ahead and that is the wrong suit. So we will just discard that. Uh, one could say actually that oh, I'll play another card because, yep, you see, they managed to get uh, the suit that they need. So the antelope, Knight 142. And actually, yeah, look at that. It's the Arctic. And sometimes I miss this because it's the Arctic so few times but it's low Eve to Argen or Arkhangelsk and it's Arctic but as you know these storm cards they're both uh, oceans so we're good but that means that we could play for example the Junkers 88 here um, but it's a little bit risky to be honest because they have a question mark here so I think I'm gonna go ahead and play it safe and What's the yeah? This is gonna be the highest one. Admiral Sheer, and let's see. This one is fated by Rodney, fated by Sheila and Kegi Twenty six. So the convoy is fated by this card, and that would uh, bring this um, uh, battle value double, but from a one to a two. So it's not really worth it. So I'm gonna play Admiral Sheer instead. 
Let's see, I have six, seven, I need one more card. Eight cards. And it's the wrong year, Knight down to 43, so that's an illegal play. It's also the wrong combat suit. And that means, fortunately for me, I have won um, pretty much because the, uh, I have a combat value of three plus two dice, and they have a one plus one die, so I have a hard time seeing how they're going to win this. So I'm going to roll... The white ones for me and the blue one for the allies. Oh my lord. Okay, so we'll see how this goes then. So the combat value is six, seven. Oh my lord. And my combat value is two, four, seven. So it's a tie. It's, oh, it's a tie, man. I need to win this. Okay, so that means we have to play another round. And I have staked some really high VP cards. So I really cannot lose this, this battle. It's going to be an uh, aircraft battle. And I am going to go ahead now and play KG26. Uh, As you remember, the KG26, this convoy is fated by him. So his combat value is going to be doubled. So he's going to be able to roll 2d6 instead of 1. And next ally card. Oh, come on. Oh. It's also a um, question mark card. It's the correct year and everything. So they're good. And the question now is what I want to play. Let's see. I actually should draw a card to... Um, <clears throat> I am going to go ahead and play KG40. Bomber wing, which is another question mark. It's, again, it's going to come down to the die rolls. And the allies play half duff. Uh, although these are the incorrect battle suits, so they're going to be discarded. All right, so we're going to see what happens. Um, let's see how many cards I have. Six, seven, eight. We're going to have to roll some D6. So for the allies... We're going to roll for the Victorious. And for us, we're going to roll 2d6 for the KG26 and 1 for KG40. So I'll use these three wooden dice for us and the blue one for the allies, Victorious. Let's see. <laughs> yes! Okay. So... <laughs> The allies have a combat value of 3, 6. My combat value is 6, 12, 18. And that's also how it can pay off. Uh, I'm a little bit unsure also, an, a side note, about um, the cards that fate the convoy. Because the wording is that if a card fates a convoy, they do double damage. So it's really a question of interpretation. Should you roll 2d6 or should you only roll 1 and double that? I believe it's the last one that you should only actually roll 1d6 and double that. I'm not sure. And you can actually interpret it how you like. Maybe Ben uh, ben, uh, ben Knight. I think he's, uh, the designer is called Ben Knight. Let me look at a box. Yes, that's correct. Ben Knight. Maybe Ben Knight will watch this and will... Uh, chime in on how it's played but anyway uh, it doesn't matter this time because both of them were sixes so really lucky for me uh, i have to say i could have rolled triple ones uh, but i did it so these my cards are discarded and then we take up these cards and again my cards are discarded here and i win all of these cards except these one with the um, with that icon but it's still five seven uh, eight vp plus five so that's 13 vp and we have a full convoy here which means we have now maximized our hand size to nine so let's see we have three six seven eight nine okay time for the next convoy uh, hx 72 a 940 convoy I think I played almost all of my cards from Night Under 40. Let's see if the... I'm going to try to organize my cards here a little bit. So you can actually see what I have on my hand. It's really only the left side 
of the cards which are uh, important. Let's see what the allies play. That's an illegal card. Remember, they need a 1940 card. They have nine attempts. There we go. They are going to go ahead and play Edinburgh. And Edinburgh uh, is uh, it's going to be a surface battle card. And I don't believe... Okay, I have U47. So I could go ahead and play that. Uh, and draw a new card. And the allies. Oh man, they are so lucky. A 1940 card which also has a surface combat value. I'm going to go ahead and discard all of my cards. And draw nine new cards. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we're going to go ahead and shuffle our discard pile. Uh, eight, nine. There we go. Okay, so let's look at our new cards. Yeah, we got some good stuff. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. All right, and the last allies card is an X craft. It's the wrong year, but it doesn't matter because these guys have one. They have a, a combined um, surface value of three. I only have a surface value of two. So they have managed to win the convoy and sink my U-37 U-boat. Okay, and the allies are out of cards. So we're going to go ahead and shuffle them. Not many convoys left now. So it's looking pretty even actually. Uh, you, can see, you cannot see how... Actually, I think maybe the, the allies have a little bit of a lead... They have sunk a lot of these high value um, ships from me. Let's see here. Yep. Okay, next convoy HX219, 1942 convoy. Uh, it is fated by Hafduff. And it's in the Atlantic Ocean. So we have Skilla, which is an aircraft card. That's okay. <clears throat> I'm gonna go ahead and play the Junkers 88. And the allies play hood. All right. All right, all right, all right. I'm going to go ahead and play then um, that T. No, I'm not. I'm going to save that. I am going to go ahead and, and play the Condor 1. This is fated by Bismarck, by the way. But I don't have that card on my hand, unfortunately. Oh, come on. Are you serious? They play the Catalina, the flying U-boat, but it's the wrong uh, battle suit, so it's discarded. So we have two plus, uh, sorry, three plus three, so a com combined attack value of six. They have two plus two. So I have managed to sink Hood and Skula and also capture the convoy. That was a good battle. I was really lucky to have these cards on my hand. And let's see, I have my nine cards, so we go for the next convoy. SC-130, 1943. They play Metric Radar. To get it with the bonus card. <clears throat> and I think actually then you get to play another card. Oh my god, how, what, is, what is going on? It's, it's all bonus cards. And you saw me shuffle these cards. Okay, so... All of them are correct year and correct ocean. And <clears throat> finally we draw the Avenger. So, so the total value is 1, 3, 5, 7, 9. A 9 in sub value. Uh, yeah, I think I am going to go ahead and fold. Let's see if there's some of these cards I might want to get rid of. Like, for example, the Heinkel, which is only playable in the Arctic. And I got another crap card. Uh, anyway, the allies keep playing and they play another event card. Oh yeah, that is actually... Okay, so they can actually play this way. Yeah, because you have to match the symbols and the squares or rectangles are... Uh, what's called uh, wild cards 
but that's all right. Uh, sorry. They should have played this, or they had it here. I can't remember any longer. Uh, no, they played this like that. Okay, so and then they draw one more card, and here you go. This does not match the symbol, so this is discarded. However, they still get this card. Uh, okay, I'm gonna go ahead and discard that card and draw a new card. I only get 943 cards, and the allies will play this card, which is the correct year. Uh, correct ocean and correct <laughs> combat suit. They have definitely won. They sent everything they had to protect SC-130. And we'll discard these cards. Okay, they really want to win. There is only five convoys out of 17 remaining. The HX-133, that's a 941 card. And again, they're gonna co go with the... Uh, Aircraft combat suit and I have nothing. I have nothing to send against that Fated by Condor one, but I don't have that card. I'm gonna go ahead and discard this card And next one they go with is another bonus card together with Blanky It's the correct year correct ocean and a combat value of one uh, Do I wanna Perhaps give away something. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and play away uh, Luigi Torelli, the submarine captain. And last card like that. Okay, so the allies again overwhelmingly win. So I am in trouble now. Only four convoys left. A knight down to 43 convoy. <clears throat> Another event card, Raid on Sand Nasir, you know, that is a fun coincidence with that uh, solo game. It's the correct years, it's correct oceans, the Atlantic Ocean, and it's the surface battle. I am gonna go ahead, I have to do something, I will play Axis Minefield uh, together with uh, Tirpitz, which is a two question mark card. And they go ahead and play uh, Achates. Achates. It's the correct year, correct ocean, uh, one in surface combat value. Uh, okay, not 143. Do we have something good we can play? We have the Shadower event card, which we can play, play alone or with another card of any time. Immediately fill your hand to nine cards and continue your turn as axis not playable under surprise We're not gonna fill our hand because it's the end of the battle anyway uh, We'll play Admiral Hipper and Actually, we might want to fill our hand because <clears throat> there might still be uh... Yeah, we have nine um, a hand size of nine so that card is actually quite useless once you get uh, the convoys that you need All right so it's gonna hang on the dice roll here again i can tell you that much oh man renown one of the best ones okay uh, this is gonna be tough two four five nine one seven eight nine ten so i think actually they're gonna pass because the allies see my question marks as rolls of three so one four seven eight nine ten and they only have four five nine so they actually they're gonna fold they're not gonna commit that card Whew. okay that is very lucky for me and <clears throat> i gain these cards which is a total of three vp and the convoy itself is four vp all right so i think perhaps i am taking the lead i don't know uh, SC-107, New York City to Liverpool, it's a uh, 4VP, Atlantic Ocean as usual, and Night Under 42. Okay, and that's wrong year, Night Under 43, Night Under 43, there we go, Huff Duff. This is fated by Hudson and Wilson. Huff Duff together with Liberator, which is a 6 in sub-value. Oh. 
Oh, okay. Uh, I'm not sure I can actually do much about that. Probably not. Let's see, I don't have any bonus cards either. So I might want to let them win this suit instead of giving away VP. So I'm going to discard this card, draw a new one. Let them play. It's a bonus card. Wrong year. So these are discarded. <clears throat> so maybe I actually should have committed. But it's easy to be wise afterwards. All right. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and discard that card. And then... They, this is discarded, this is the wrong suit. Anyway, they win the battle. They protect SC-107. Next convoy, TM-1-943 convoy. Uh, Ruben James, uh, which is a sub-suit. This time we're definitely gonna go ahead and engage. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and engage with U-515. Because this is fated by U-500. 52, but we don't have that card on our hand currently. And they play it's a wrong suit, so that's discarded. We play another. Let's play Straytaxt. And I play X Craft. It's the wrong combat suit, I'm afraid, for them. Uh, so that means they, they have the American Ruben James 2 in combat value, but I have the U515 uh, and the Straytaxt. Combat value of three plus question mark. It's still gonna be more than the two, so I have managed to sink him, and I've also managed to sink the TM1 convoy. That's only one VP. So I'm still not convinced I'm gonna win because I noticed the allies did get a lot of high VP. So this is gonna be the last uh, draw card for. This is gonna be the last convoy. And it's SC44, a 1941 convoy in the Atlantic. And the allies play Beverly, which is a ex-US destroyer, 1942. That is the wrong year. It has to be 1941. So they play Escort Group 5. That is even better. Okay, Escort Group 5, 1941, correct ocean. Do I have anything I can counter with? Uh, yes, I have the Breslau, and of course we are going to go ahead now, and um, we cannot chicken out for the last fight, right? And they bring in Edinburgh, but it's the wrong uh, combat suit, so it's discarded. So, we will keep pushing, and I could play another question mark, but that is, uh, that is quite dangerous, quite dangerous play. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and play Admiral Dönitz. Play alone or with another card. You may change the suit of the battle to combine, or you may play, play one extra force card of the same or different type as your first force card. So I play Reiswulf, and I also play, uh, let's see, U751 Bigolt. So that would let me draw three new cards which doesn't really matter because that is the last time i get to play the last allies card is sunderland a flying boat with a two in submarine value let's see if they will commit this to play uh they have a four i have a three six eight so nope they are not gonna commit that to play so basically the it's gonna be hard for them to win but they can still win because they have a question mark i have two so let's roll the blue is for the allies, the white ones is for the axis. Oh, look at that. You see, if they had gotten a six there, perhaps they would have won. Uh, very close call. The allies get a four. I get a one, three, five. So it was only one away. This only had to be a five. This could have been a one to be a tie. But I am fortunate enough to win... So, these cards are discarded, and I win the convoy, that's 6 VP, that is a strong VP card, and the escort group 5. Okay, so let's go ahead and calculate our VP. Let's see who won. 
Let's start by looking at the convoys. I have one, two, three, four, sorry, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine convoys. So that means the the allies should have uh, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, and you can see here that uh, maybe it's hard to see from your uh, angle, but I sank a little bit more ships than they did. Okay, so let's see how many VP I got. So six, seven, 12, 17, 20, 23, 28, 31, 35, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 45, 46, 47, 49, 52, 54, 56, 57, 58, 59, 63, 61, sorry, 64, 65, 66. Okay, so I'll keep 2d6 here to remind me. I got 66 VP. Alright, so the allies got 4, 9, 13, 17, 21, 25, 28, uh, 32, 33, 34, 36, 37, 38, 39, 41, 45, 46, 47, 49. And the allies got 49. So that was actually... Um, actually quite far away I thought they would be um, would be closer but uh, it's it's not it's like 17 VP or something away so I think it paid off that I decided once there I decided now I really have to push my luck or I'm gonna be um, you know I'm gonna lose the battle for the Atlantic so I think that was cool <clears throat> um, there is ways, like I said in my previous video, there is ways to increase the difficulty. For example, you can give the enemy an extra chance during the second and third draw. In the basic game, they will only have one chance to draw a legal card. But you can increase the difficulty by one uh, chance, so they will have two chances. And if you think that's too easy, they can have three chances, and so on and so on. There are suggestions in the rules on how to increase the difficulty. There's also another way to play this game and that is actually a little bit interesting. You can play this in chronological order. So from 1940 to 1943. Uh, so that is actually the, the I haven't tried it uh, and I'm gonna go ahead and sit down and try it myself and I, if I think it's fun I'm gonna share that uh, also with you guys um, to video of a full playthrough as usual. Well, guys, thank you very much for watching. As always, if you're not subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Thank you very much. See you next time.